how to update employee expense account so basically the expense account is used when an employee goes and raise their acquisition the expense account is leveraged to default the charge account but again you can uh, you can make rules to derive your uh, charge account and requisition lines based on predefined rules in uh, uh, transaction accounting definition which is also known as TAD but assuming that uh, no uh, rules are defined at least for the natural account it will be taken from the employee level so in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can update an employee definition to add an expense account okay so let's go into Oracle Fusion applications cloud now before going and looking at uh, all the other definitions first of all I'm going to show you what is the release and version we are on in this instance so presently we are on release 13 with a version of 21d which is supposed to be the latest version at the moment okay so I'm gonna come out of this and now what I'll do I will simply navigate to setup and maintenance and we have to look for a task called as manage users so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change this offering to procurement and then I will click on users and security and look at the right hand side there you will see the manage users coming up right at the bottom so it's a bit deceiving because here we will manage the employees and attach those employees to the users but simply saying manage users sometimes with users we think about creating the users but uh, this form is actually managing the employee and then on the fly you can create a new user for that employee or link it to an existing username okay so in this case the idea is uh, to show you the procedure to update the account for an existing employee so my existing employee is Casey Brown I'm gonna type and hit the enter button so I'm gonna look so here you go so click on the record okay and then you go to actions and then expense information and here you can see default expense account is empty at the moment so I'm going to populate with a accounting combination alright and that combination is this and you can look at more about the combination by clicking here so you see company is 101 for US 1 legal entity line of business uh, which is nothing but the cost center is uh, again US 1 account is uh, 60540 for miscellaneous cost center is 120 and uh, then product uh, you have is uh, default to triple zero and enter company also triple zero so basically they have made separate segment for cost center and separate segment for the line of business also called as LOB okay once you have uh, done and attached the account reviewed the account then you can simply hit the save and close button so next time this user creates a requisition the default charge account particularly the natural account will be defaulted from here but again this defaulting rules can be changed at transaction accounting definition level this charge account can possibly be defaulted while this employee is raising expenses in fusion expenses cloud so this is the procedure under which you can update the employee expense account for an existing employee in fusion cloud